Hello guys and welcome back to a new video tonight or today basically I want to try it today but it's night now because I came too late I have my old Tesla Model S 2020 model with full self-driving included which mean you can park basically the car itself uh, so the car basically can auto park and in this video we will do that we will test the parking the self-parking on the full self-driving on an older tesla from 2020 the newest models use hardware 4 which is a little bit faster so i try both of them you can see it also on the channel i have a video with the newest tesla model s so you can see how quick it's parking but i still want to show you also the older versions with full self-driving or autopilot free which is still pretty good but it's not as good as the newest model but i know there are many people that want to buy a second-hand tesla so i'm thinking to show you how it works and what to expect if you will buy this car come inside with me in the car and let's see how it parks we are inside it's a little bit darker i came basically a little bit too late today to film this but it's fine now put it in drive what you have to do once you go in a parking lot like here supermarket you just activate you have to basically press this yeah you don't have to but yeah you just press this button uh, you can also not do it you put it in reverse and once you are in reverse anyway the camera will turn on automatically so let's do it normally we just drive along in a parking lot and then you're driving you're driving you're driving along and then let's say i want to park here on the left side you just stop and once you're stopping um, here in the car it says here on the screen a p right there i don't know if you can see it and then you put it in reverse and once you are in reverse you can see the car it shows you a parking lot and then all you have to do now is just press this start button and then the car it's basically start to park the good part is that in comparison with other car model and car competitors not all um, but some of the most of them uh, where you have to park only between other cars here on tesla the car park also between the lines only the lines you can see down here are only the lines so the good part is that the car is capable to park also between the lines where on other car manufacturers is not working uh, of course on the newest is model s it's work faster and quicker and more precise here it works uh, i would say a little bit slower but it's kind of work and keep in mind that not always it's parking precise you can see right now here it parks kind of good i would say so it's kind of parallel with those lines but it's still not yeah the steering wheel is not straight and i feel like it's a little bit on the right side let's try again let's drive along again and let's say this time i want the car to park on the right side right so i'm just driving along and then i'm just yeah stopping here pretty quick put it in reverse press the start and now the car it start parking this time feel like it's moving a little bit quicker so it's going backward but it's pretty not so straight i would say now it's kind of trying to still go backwards even though we are on the line let's see what happened next going forward turning the steering wheel now is not bad it's pretty good i would say but not very precise i feel like the newest is hardware it's a little bit more precise but it's still able it's still capable to park itself and again not bad but again not straight the steering wheel is still not straight and i feel like i'm a little bit on the right side i don't know why but it always feel like it's on the right side the thing is that the car is capable only to park backwards so if you leave these cameras open and you drive along you can see from time to time the car it shows you parking lots and parking lots and parking lots while you're going along you will see left and right side parking lots and now what i want to do i want to go around other cars to see how it parks around other cars it's for the first time when i do that it's uh, practically a new test for me and for the first time we will test it together and let's see here close to those cars we go a little bit slower so the car let's say have time to see no i want to park between those two cars around there right let's see if that's managing or here or here between those two i think between those two it's perfect 
let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what happened. We go, let's see if the car sees that parking lot. Maybe not. Come on, see it. Yes, it sees. Oh yeah, that's a good test. Put it in reverse, press start. Let's see what happened. I have my, my, my foot on brakes for the safety. I have over the brakes. It goes pretty quick in that. <laughs> ah, I'm definitely scared. It's super, super close there. If I press resume, what happened? I'm scared to press resume. Okay, it stopped. Wow, it stopped. Exactly when I break, it stopped. I resume it. Let's see. I'm scared because it's for the first time when I do it. But uh, when I break, it's breaking as well. But I was a little bit scared to leave it more. Now the same story. It goes pretty quick and I press the brake. I'm, I'm quite scared. Resume it. I want to leave it, but I'm, I'm definitely scared. Again, I press the brake. I can, you know, I can get used with the distances as well. The car still want to go backward, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure if I should leave it or not. Uh, resume. Okay, it's, it it's stopped. Now turn right and then it goes back forward. You see, it's, it's going moving too much forward, backwards. That's, that's the thing. With the newest model, the car moves quicker and more precise. Right now, you see, it's still in process and it goes so slow forward. Why, why it goes sometimes fast and sometimes slow? I don't understand, man. And it goes backward. And yeah, practically, it's doing a good job, right? But I was so scared that the car will hit the other vehicle because it goes so fast. And I don't know, it's, it's some, let's try again. Let's try again. Uh, if you ask me, yes, it can park only backwards and not forwards. That's, that's the thing. Let's try again, maybe close to this red one. It's much more cheaper if it's hit it. I can pay for it. <laughs> the other one, <laughs> Toyota was expensive. <laughs> so I can afford to pay for it. Uh, let's go in reverse. No, wait, why not? It doesn't want to see that. It doesn't want to see. Okay, it sees it now. Park. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. why I did that? Let's, let's reset it again. Start. Let's see what he's doing. Man, it's, it's really bad. I mean, the position is really bad in which I left the car and I have this uh, wheelchair around there, but it stopped. This time it's smarter. This time I feel like it stopped earlier. Why it shouldn't do that a little bit earlier? Why it didn't do that? Why it didn't do that a little bit earlier? And there you have this chill. Okay, it's going around pretty good. Wow, this time it's fine. This time it's parking really fine. It's brake, it's a little bit scared. Suddenly, and then again, front and back. So yeah, it's doing some back and forward, sometimes unnecessary, I would say, but you wanna park a little bit better, a little bit better between those lines. So I guess, yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad but not as good as the new one. Let's try again from this area. This is the last time. And then I guess you make an idea. So it's, it's usable. In the beginning, I was thinking it's worse. I was thinking it's really bad. But now if I think a little bit better, it's not that bad. Let's see, it find one. Let's see if it find the other one in the corner. That's I'm interested. Yes, it find it. And then you go in reverse, press start. Let's see, man, this is hard because you have that curve, curve to there. Uh, let's see what happened. It goes pretty quick. I will leave it this time. I will leave it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What, what you do? You go there, what? It stopped and now it goes forward. Okay, not bad. Didn't scratch the, the, the wheel. Let's go back and then uh, forward and then backward. Yes, so I try, I start to understand it. Let's see in the back, because you have this. I have my foot on the brake. I'm really scared about that. It stopped, it stopped, it stopped, it stopped automatic. Nice, man, this time was good. Let's try one more time here. I'm really curious, I have to do that with you. I know it's dark, I know it's completely dark. I know if this light help you or not. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think this one help. 
Anyway, let's go forward. Let's go around here. I want to park one more time between those two. So let's go forward. You see it? Come on, you see that parking lot? Okay, you see it. So you go forward. Now here it's almost, it's not that good, but it's pretty good place to start. So you can move a few, you can make a few moves. Let's see if it's doing the same as it do a little bit earlier. It's going again, not bad. Starting, I'm, I'm a little bit scared here, look. Why are you straight the steering? And now it stopped. I, I was not scared, this time I leave it go. I let it go. So the car knows better than me and faster than me how close we are on that car. And it didn't want to show me the distances. You see, you can see also the distances in centimeters there on the screen. Whoa, 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 you go too close, you go too fast, too fast and too, okay. 42 centimeters. And now it says complete. Man, it's not bad. Where, where are the lines? And the lines are good, right? Or? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, not perfect. Not perfect, but not bad. If I, if I would park, I would definitely park a little bit like that, maybe. A little bit on the right side, maybe a little bit farther away than that. But oof, it's good. Let's try a fast one. Let's, let's try fast. Accelerate. Let's brake here. Sorry about that. Go in reverse, play start. Let's see what happened. So it's capable. I told you, the hardware free is not bad at all. It's pretty good. But it's a little bit, yeah, the, it's a little bit slower. Look at this, it's go so slow. I don't, I don't understand why it goes so slow right now. It's also turning signal automatically. So you can see it goes backward and then slowly forward. Let's see if it's hitting something in the front because it doesn't have a camera like the new model I have. But I don't think so because we have physical sensors here, which are sometimes better than camera. And then look at this, it's doing good, but it's like boring until he's doing it. So yeah, if you definitely need that self parking feature, this is definitely working pretty, pretty good. Let's go out to see how it works, how it looks basically. Look at this, you see, I told you, I told you it's not perfect. And here, you see, it's a little bit on the right side. It's always parking a little bit on the right side. I think the calibration, you see that? I think the calibration of the system, it's a little bit off. And I think that's really, really, I think they can do it from the computer. But here, basically, the, the car, it's parked well. It's well, it's almost perfect. Anyway, that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get some useful information from here. If you have questions, ask me down below. Hardware 3.0, full self-driving, package on. Otherwise, it won't work. It's in Europe, by the way. I will make a separate video where I show you how this car is capable of driving on the highway with uh, full self-driving, how it can change the lanes and how it works in Europe. But I saw some videos on these model, 2020 models, and even a little bit earlier, where the car is doing a really good job at driving itself, because in the United States, in certain state and area, regulation allow you to drive itself. But anyway, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you want to buy a Tesla, you can use my referral code. My referral link will be in the description, also on the screen. Thank you for watching. Love you all, guys. Stay safe, and we see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.